Welcome to the prayer for every tongue that rises against you to be defeated. This is a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon as touching, you will surely do. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the person I'm praying for who desires a prayer for every tongue that rises against them to be defeated. Father, together in agreement, we ask you to please grant them grace and power to assist them in growing in their trust in you. Yes, please help them mature to the place where they trust you to protect even their name. They look to you as their source to vindicate who they really are and what the situation truly is when people say things about them that are simply untrue, false, or exaggerated. We bind and break any untrue and unjust words spoken against them right now in Jesus' name. They refuse to react emotionally with retaliation. They refuse to lash out towards those who are trying to stir things up. Lord, instead they choose to obey your word and rest in your peace. They choose to stay in your love so that they do not hinder their walk with you and give place to the enemy. Your word clearly states that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against them in judgment or false accusation, you will prove or demonstrate to be in the wrong. Together in this prayer, We hold up this promise and wrap it around the person I'm praying for. Your word clearly states that if they keep themselves in your love and their ways are pleasing to you, even their enemies shall be at peace with them. Holy Spirit, please continually bring to their remembrance that the warfare they face is not with man, but ultimately with the enemy and his army in the spiritual realm. It is a spiritual battle that Christ has already won if they follow your guidance. They will rest in knowing that any tongue that rises against them shall not prevail. You are the Lord of all, and you are in control of this situation. They will continue to reflect Christ in what they say and do, so that the fires of attack are smothered, and you can freely bring about the outcome you desire in their situation. We decree and declare, that when the enemy uses organizations or people to falsely accuse them, malign their name, or do anything to carry out an attack on their integrity or their character, they will respond with your love. Yes, we decree and declare that they will respond like Jesus and seek your face. Others may act unbecomingly, but not them. They will follow the example that Jesus gave. We ask you to forgive those who are waging war on them, for They do not ultimately know what they are doing. The person I'm praying for has their arms raised to you in surrender, and they yield to the direction of the Holy Spirit that keeps them in the love of God, free from sin, protected, and directed to win the battle. They have made their choice. They will firmly stay in a place of love and forgiveness, no matter what people do to them or say about them. The person I'm praying for is a faithful follower of Christ, and they will stand strong in you, Lord, regardless of any attack and tongue that rises up against them. Christ is in them, and he is greater than any attack that could ever be waged against them. We believe and receive everything we've prayed, and give you glory in advance, for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. This is Daniel, the creator of Daily Effective Prayer. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and share it with others if you haven't already. God richly bless you.